My friends, welcome back. We are playing EU Forest Cologne. Now in this episode, we're going to war. And to make sure that we do that uh, in the correct fashion, let us uh, raise our army maintenance. We will be losing a lot here in, in terms of uh, financial income. But we need to make sure that we get that morale up and uh, running. Because we want to go to war with our neighbor. Let us keep this uh, diplomat free. You have 9.7 points to go. If one of these are free, we're going to be sending him towards uh, Trey and Cleves. We are only interested in this one territory. The rest, we don't care about. We don't care what will happen to him or them. If we take too much, Austria will tear us a new one. Land force limit, army of morals. I quite think we should take this already land maintenance cost is going down and uh, we're now at 052 all bits help all bits help i think we're ready so let us get those two troops thank you very much we only have 15 gold which is yeah not much unfortunately so you go here and uh, we need to wait until we actually can get the morale up here from these units as well. So we have to wait. We will probably get a loan. Are we there yet? What is the morale? Currently 2.55 out of 270. What will they do? Shall we move over here? Um, is there a river? Yes, there is. Is there a river in here? Yes, there is. Uh, you can actually see that over here. There's a, sh a, a shit ton of rivers floating there, which is uh, quite annoying. Uh, three more points, one more point. Did you get another alliance? Do you want territory? In all honesty, I don't seriously care if you do, but you don't have any claims. So promise me promising you territory is most likely going to backfire upon us. Uh, I kind of feel that we are going to do this ourselves. Um, immediately going in there, we, and we just have to be lucky. Uh, lucky. Once we get here and take all of this, we are going to drop the mercenaries. I think that is the, uh, the most reasonable way forward. So let us go and do this war. And confirm. And let's head out. Where are you going, sir? Where are you going? No, sir. Yeah, I, I figured that. That's not how this works. So, by the rules, we're actually doing quite well. And here we go. Let's make sure that we get that stack out of the way. Come on. Right on top of that. Morale is extremely low. And, yeah, it's already... It's getting out there. We got that out of control. There's a small stack heading over there. The biggest one over here. So, let's follow. And that's a stack. Let us recall the diplomat and recall the diplomat over here. And what we'll do now is consolidate. Let us transfer a full trip. Select him and we have the biggest army. We head over to the capital. Let's start sending friends towards Cleves. Call to arms? No. No, 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 no. Um, what we are going to be doing is improving our relations with you. And improving with my other friend here. That's also important. Come on, we need to get him out. That's great. Now, once again. One trip. We can actually use the horses. Actually, that would have been the better idea. So, let's send the horse over there. And we're going to be sending another cavalry. Since they don't help in sieges at all. At all over here. And once they arrive... We're going to be sending them back. So, here we go. You are going to be back. And we're going to be sieging the castle. And this is a very, very early war. And it's been doing quite nicely for us. Considering this, 6k troops. Um, let's wait and let's keep our troops until... What is this? We came under the occupation of Cologne. Yeah, that's precisely what I want. So, let's send you over here. Hmm, we lose admin power. 
what is up with this man you, these guys that it's, it's like they are why do you hate me so much the burgers would gain 10 loyalty <sighs> or the nobility what can we do we call in a deity and that will gain them loyalty uh i don't want to lose oh damn it's a choice so either admin or diplo we are doing much better on admin so let's lose with the nobility and let's fix that right away we don't need that stuff damn man th that's just harsh that's just why does the game hate me so much huh who knows who knows so okay they both are actually no we're going to be waiting there we're going to be sacking this they got they got some monies over there and once we see their troops which of course we don't and also not involving our allies um makes it that we keep our favors with them and we're also uh, sacking this right uh show province there is a lot of loot here. We can probably just sit right on top of it. Like I said, I only want this one province. Speaking of that, let us go to Austria. And let's improve relations as a bloody P. Because this is a bit low. And Austria is the leader of the Holy Roman Empire. And we'll get a negative 20 with him. And all of the other countries, actually. Just for getting this one province now we can also do show strength that is a possibility as well we know that we can deal with this army but i think not getting this territory right now is a mistake now where are we able to go towards him i kind of don't want to he's already on his way do you see that he is getting close can we manage this in time i'll have to deal with his seven I'm still hoping I can do this before. There is a 14 chance of surrendering. Oh, here we go. Get here. Get here. Let's see wait, if he's going to be going after my territory. I'm, I'm, let him, I'm going to let him. I, I might even just let him go and free this up. Mm, let's see. What kind of you? Actually, your general isn't that good. If we leave a troop in here and assault him. Actually, I might just consider dropping this. I want you to be locked in position. There you go. If we go here now, he cannot pull back. We'll have a bit of a fight going on. We outnumber him. We have... Well, he is 6 infantry and 1 cavalry. So, in theory, we should be strong enough to take his army out. Let's go. And we'll have a bit of a fight over here. And we should win this. And we took our very first loan. And we did one. And he's going to be pulling back towards his own country. So yeah, that's going to be taking him some time to actually uh, make that happen. In. I don't care. He will have to reinforce. So do we. So do we. But we lost the... Um, we lost a lot here. Are we going to get rid of our mercenary? Well, we do need to reinforce here. We're four on two. And our cavalry is a bit high up here. So, that's ten. Let's get rid of our mercenary. No, that would be a mistake. Let's get another loan. Let's get another loan. And we'll make him pay war reps. And um, let's get another infantry going. So we're 6 on 2, full force limit and the uh, mercenary. And let's hope that we can do this before he's back. He's just going to be annoying. Not dangerous, he's just going to be annoying. We do not piece this out until we hit cap with Austria. Let us be very, very straight on that. That ain't helping. Uh, because these guys, they are just eager to get a negative with me. And just, you know, have a cause to go to war. Even my allies won't protect me. That would be a mistake. I don't like that. I don't mind making mistakes. I just don't like making them often. So, let's group these up. 
Uh, we can actually lower army maintenance. We can actually mothball this fort again. And this way we'll make more monies. Um, do we want to lower morale? Well, the thing is, we can't see his army. And I don't know if he's actually going all the way back. So we have to be very careful with that. I don't mind the fortress, since he can't take it right away. We can always increase it. We're actually making a positive. That's what I want to see, because we already have two loans. And he's on 14% now. Let's take a look at the siege. We're getting one. We have a 14% chance of them surrendering. And that's just increased. That's quite nice. I don't see that troops yet, so let's zoom out a bit. Uh, let's see what we can do. Oh, we're in the negative again. We are reinforcing. That's why we're in the negative. Here we go. We have almost a 50% chance of them pulling out. I think we're very close at just getting rid of that uh, mercenary. Come on now. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Now, because we don't see where he is, we might as well go raid. Let's see. You're empty. You still have three. And you have seven. So let's, um, let's split. One going there. One going there. Like I said, we're not piecing out until we have this. I actually do need to take care of his ally. We'll get war reps. We'll take all of his money. But let's make sure that we survive. I don't think we'll actually lose troops anymore. Do we? Here we go. We have a peace offering from Munster. Do we want to take it? Well... I don't know. I don't think so. I do want to take care of his ally. Uh, we'll do that once he's actually losing all of his monies. I don't think he will uh, build up as much. At least I don't think so. Let's make sure he's extremely poor. Let's uh, make sure that doesn't go automatically okay, because that would be annoying. I just wonder what the uh, the AI is going to be doing right now. So, I think we can still do... He's counting in my... Uh... Are you counting him a mercenary? There you go, he's 7k again. Uh, and we're going to be stopping him. I wonder where he will go. But let's raid for a bit longer. And once we annihilate his army, we're going to be um, following him. Let's see, you're almost done. Ah, there you go. So, let's go here. Let's merge up and we go and take the fight towards him. Group up. And go over here. Let's see what he will do. Hopefully we are lucky again. Uh, we do have a, a few river crossings, which is extremely annoying. Ah, uh, this doesn't go in my way. No, 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 no. This is bad. Okay, do we have a diplomat? Let's uh, call him back in one day. And we're going to be piecing him out. So I will take this territory. And we will demand war reps. And all the money you have. Set demands and this fight's over. There we go. Did not lose anything. Now Austria is going to be annoyed with us. Extremely. And we'll have to deal with that. So let's say fine. We took a bit of a province. He is just getting out there. Let's get consolidation. Let's get rid of this mercenary. Thank you for your services. Go away. And we have enough money to buy. Uh, are we making too many of them? Now we can actually go up to nine. Uh, we do want to make it so. So let's boost this up one more. And we're going to be suppressing the rebels over here in Osnabrück. So accept that. Um, are you still out of maintenance? Yes, you do. Okay, now is the scary part. This. What is going to happen next tick? Because he might declare on us. And here we go. Um, opinion? I don't care. I don't care about this. And we do want to start calling this ASAP. 
So Munchen, we now have a true switch and the next time we're going at him, we will do it to show strength. If he would have won, it would have put us in a very awkward position. I would have liked to annul his alliance, but actually I, I don't mind him having an alliance that's all the way over here. And most likely Austria might annex this. Are you a free city? No, you're not. So yeah, you're definitely... Actually, oh, you know, you're a bishop. Wow, you're fighting me then, huh? Interesting. Let's make sure that we build up our troops before these guys get it into their fixed skull of attacking us. Which would be annoying. Let us also go ahead and put one diplomat after our after threatening countries. And we'll keep these two for now because they are still our allies. And here you have the unlawful claim of Austria. And this is, it is do or die. Will he declare on us? And we are going to be declining this. And, and this is it, guys. This is it. He is hostile towards us. He's now neutral of us. As long as he does not declare, we are going to be happy. Scoring is getting underway. Uh, we need to wait 25 years. Can you see that? 25 bloody years until we actually can get another territory. But we had a, uh, a good start so far. We're building up. Uh, Cleves likes us. Now he likes us and still hates us. And so do all of these guys. The unlawful territory is HRE white. However, you are not part of the HRE. But you're part of a trade league. God, damn you. Anyone else here that's not part? Um, we can lose the papal influence. I do not want to lose the prestige. The prestige, a global, it's good for my army, good for my mercenary cost, foreign spy detection, improved relations, everything. We are not going to spend this as easy. Power projection is going up there, so we're going to be ignoring and the the Papal States are going to be hating me for it, probably. That's what I see happening. But we expanded. We did it. We got ourselves one more territory. Now, we, we, we need to make sure we don't get greedy. If we get greedy, we are going to be boned. Trust me on this. We will. Now, we can actually increase autonomy. And make sure that the um, rebellion is not triggering. So we're now full. 7, 8, 9. That's quite nice. We're suppressing the rebels. Just a few more horses and we'll gain even more money. There we go. We're now positive again. Due to the, um, the army maintenance. Now I would like to get rid of this rebel faction. So we're going to be boosting this. And the next revolt is so far ahead on time that we will most likely get the unrest to die out before it hopefully is it growing or lowering it's all about the coring at the moment he's catholic 4.7 i think he's going up still and we cannot increase the autonomy for another wow 30 years Actually, he's going down. That's great. This is awful. This is, no, it's not awful. It's, it's wonderful. It's great. That's what I wanted. Uh, provincial unrest will slowly die out. Now, let us pay back one loan. This will in decrease our, um, our interest rate. And we can actually... We're also rooting out corruption. Let's make sure we make some money here. Let's go half. What will this do over here? Next tick we'll see. 17.8. Does army maintenance do anything for us? Doesn't appear to be so. If that isn't, just make sure that's it out. And check this again. 17.8. Next month. Come on. The first. Yeah, look at that. It has been springing into action because of the army maintenance. So we don't want to root this out completely. Let's go halfway. I don't want to accept that amends. Now, once we call this, this should be um, way better. Uh, I want to see the unrest. War exhaustion is high. That will go over extension. We'll go on lawful territory. We'll stop once we have an actual core on it. 
And we'll just see. Almost there. 3.7. Now it's actually dying out even faster than it was. 16.2. 14.2. Wow. Yeah, they don't like being caught, I guess. Uh, we do want it to be part of the HRE. We are part, of course, of the um, of this one. I would like to click to change your support for this. Uh, do Am I in favor of this automatically? You are currently supporting. I want this. I want this. So this will decrease construction and development cost. And there are definitely a few nice things like national unrest. Uh, the best one is of course for Austria itself. And we can cast a vote on... Can we just do Austria? Let's keep it on Austria. Let's suck up to Austria. You would say that it's going with name, right? Can we suck up to Austria like this? Why am I not seeing it? Am I that dense? I'm very dense. Someone explain this. Why can I not change my vote to Austria? Because we're not currently we're, we're voting on us. We are currently... No, actually, no. We're backing Austria. And these guys are backing Mainz, Austria, Gelre, even. And Brandenburg, Brandenburg would be very nice. We could actually back up Brandenburg, since we are allied to him. Let me know if that would be a good idea. It will be a long time before this actually changes. So, yeah, looking very much forward to that. We are going to be paying off this loan once we can. Um, hopefully, the... Coring of this territory is going to be nice. We are going to be making sure we build up against Frisia. He probably will be kicked out. No, he's allied to um, to Gelre. How about you? Pomerania? Is that one over here? He is. Oldenburg. Yeah, we could probably just take out Oldenburg and then go to Friesland. This would be our coastal connection. But we also need to make sure that we do a few wars to show strength and to humiliate a rival. Interesting. But we'll see how that will go, guys. Thank you a lot for watching. Hope you've, Hopefully you're enjoying yourself. And uh, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to smash that like. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.